Welcome to our unit on energy resources, where we're going to be looking at all different types of energy, how different types of energy can get transformed from one form into another, and many other things about energy, including fossil fuels and renewable energy resources. So we're just going to start with a little bit of introduction to what energy is and the different types that actually exist. So when we're talking about energy, energy can actually be measured in a unit. So just like we have a, a unit for time, a unit for length, a unit for mass, we have a unit for energy as well too. And this is one type of unit that can be communicated between tons of different scientists from all around the world and we call it a joule, uh, J-O-U-L-E-S, and the symbol is just a, a little j basically. And so these can be measured in kilojoules as well, where you add a kj in front of it where one kilojoule is equal to 1,000 joules basically. So this is going to get really annoying because this energy is going to be moving around. Let's not hang out here a little bit too long. Um, energy is needed to make things happen, so all kinds of things. Your microwave is transmitting different types of energy. Uh, fruit is storing a particular type of chemical energy, which is in glucose and sugar, and the space shuttle to blast off has to obviously use a lot of energy. This cheetah, in order to run this fast, needs energy in the form of food and needs to be able to transfer and turn that energy into a from a chemical form into a form that helps it to actually do stuff and any oh this is making me crazy anything that involves energy change is called work okay work done so uh, to do work energy must change different forms so energy changing or moving from let's see before we talk about changing forms energy needs to be able to transfer to move from one place to another so we have that written right here energy transfer so when you're cooking a barbecue and this is making me really hungry right now the heat energy is being transferred to the food and it's changing the chemical bonds in the meat which changes its form and so it makes it able for us to uh eat it and it's also killing a lot of the bacteria in there so that energy is too high that energy is being transferred to the bacteria and it's actually disrupting the bacterial survival mechanism so the bacteria are going to die that's a nice way to say it bacteria are going to die energy can move from one place to another as that monkey is moving from one place to another it can also change forms it can change forms from one form into another and that is called energy transformation we're going to see a little bit more of that a little bit later. Uh, energy transformation is, for example, taking, I guess I'm thinking about food right now. So if I were to eat a piece of fruit, I my body, my cells would convert that chemical energy into maybe heat energy to warm my body up or to sound energy to make me actually talk or to light energy to make me glow like a star. Just kidding. I can't, I can't do that. I do consider myself a star when I look at myself in the mirror, but I'm not glowing like one. So I cannot produce light energy, unfortunately, but energy does get transformed between different forms. Okay, the different types of energy. Uh, we've mentioned, I just said, I don't have this light energy. No matter Justin Bieber, he's a star, but he doesn't give off light energy because he's not that kind of a star. So light energy is easy. Uh, it's given off by objects that are called, uh, they're considered luminous. Luminous means producing your own light, like a real star in the sky, like a sun, like a light bulb, like Rudolph's red nose, like a light bulb. Heat energy is given out by hot objects, pretty straightforward. Electrical energy is something that we rely upon a lot, especially if you have an iPhone like me. Sound energy, it's pretty easy, energy that travels um, through the air, it can travel through the water, it can travel through solids as well, travel through liquids and solids. It's sound energy, it's what enables us to hear things. Here, this might be a new term for you, kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, we're talking about energy, anything that's moving. So a ball flying through the air, a bullet train speeding down uh, the railroad tracks. Fuels store chemical energy, and I think it's important for us to mention that Chemical, oops, didn't mean to cross that out. Chemical energy, we're talking about food. So any kind of energy that's stored in food is also called chemical energy. So this is what Santa gave you last year for being naughty. Some coal, burning wood, fuel, these are all types of chemical energy. 
Elastic potential energy is a fun one. Elastic potential energy, we're talking about things that are in strings or in rubber bands. It's if I if I push it down, it gets more difficult to push down and then it'll pop back up. A rubber band, same thing. If I try to pull this rubber band this direction and this side this direction, well that's elastic potential energy. When I let go, something's gonna happen. That energy is gonna be transferred back. Gravitational potential energy is energy you get from moving something to a higher location, hence the word gravity, right? The higher it goes, the more potential energy, potential meaning it hasn't happened yet, but it could happen very easily. If I move myself to the top of a building and lean over the edge, there's a lot of potential energy there. So as soon as I step off the side, I'm going to go plummeting to the earth and creating a, uh, a puddle of me. Gravitation, gravitational potential energy. That made me really depressed thinking about that situation. But those are different types of energy. There are others out there as well too, but you should be able to take these ones that are listed here and be able to point them out in any room or any situation that you are in. Uh, you can draw energy transformation diagrams that show different forms of energy. So you say, how does this hot water kettle work? Well, it's going to heat up water here. Well, how is that possible? It's going to be taking some energy from the electrical socket. So this is electrical energy that's being converted into heat energy. Its primary purpose is to boil the water, right? So it's to converting it to heat energy. But you might say, well, this might light up. So there's a little bit of light energy there. It might make a sound and go. <laughs> so if it's doing that, uh, that might be sound energy. But its primary purpose is to convert electrical energy to heat energy. So think about the primary purpose of any type of uh, energy transformation that you're looking at. So in this case, I would say electrical energy converted, and I'm showing that by an arrow, to heat energy. Those are the main types of energy shown in the diagram. And you can make a list of other types of energy, but they're not necessarily useful, as I've pointed out here in the bottom. For example, sound energy this thing could make, or light energy. So try doing a diagram like this. It doesn't have to be just one form being converted into another form. It could be one form being converted into several forms, depending on the usefulness. Think of your cell phone, for example. When you charge your phone, where are you getting that energy from? When you unplug it, there's still energy there, right? So where is that energy being stored? And what's the purpose of all that energy in your cell phone? What is it being converted? What types of energy are they being converted to for the screen or the speakers? Take a look at this. What types of energy are present here in these various diagrams here? Ooh, rubber bands. Ooh, television. Ooh, forest fire, devastating. Ooh, neon sign. Ooh, gas range. Ooh, car that looks like a bunny. What could be here? Elastic potential energy. What could be here? Light, electrical energy, maybe sound from the speakers. A lot of heat and a lot of light and definitely chemical energy because the wood is what's being burnt basically. So that's chemical energy there. We got some light energy, but this is neon light. So I know there's gas in here. The gas is a chemical, which is being, energy is being passed through it. So electrical energy being passed through, chemical energy is forming this light energy. We've got chemical in the form of the gas that's in here, but it's producing heat and light. Those are the primary things here. A car does all kinds of things. It's running on fuel, which is chemical. Um, it's turning into movement energy. What's movement energy? Kinetic energy. Uh, we've got some light energy here. There's going to be sound that's generated, although that's not very cool. Oh, maybe for the horn, okay? The engine, if you want a really cool sports car. So those are various types of energy. Anywhere you look, you can identify all types of energy. The more interesting thing is to find out how those different types of energy are being changed from one form into another.